The durability of mass timber really isn't a concern. When you put mass timber inside of a building and keep it dry, there's no concern long term. There's a lot of great built examples out there, like the Butler Brothers building, which is over 110 years old and still in service in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The product itself is not going to rot if it's treated appropriately. The key to maintaining durability with mass timber is consistency. If you have alternating wet, dry, wet, dry, that's what can create rot. So there's buildings in Europe that have been standing for the past 900 years. There's a bridge in China that's, that's a thousand years old, a pedestrian bridge, and still standing. In this new age, we uh, have to kind of use technology and best practice and best thinking on all these fronts of design to create the necessary barriers. Um, and, and wood has a long history and is a very durable material um, if you've designed it right. It's important to make advancements in mass timber buildings because we need more sustainable building materials. We need more building systems that can build density in our cities in a sustainable fashion. I'm very optimistic about what's gonna happen here in the U.S. because usually when we do something, we do it really big.